Here we are at Casa de Candice. Casa de Candice. Little restaurant here in our cabin. <laughs> Good morning, Candice. Good morning. She is making breakfast for us once again. She seems to like being our slave. <laughs> Food slave is what we call her home. Food slave. Affectionately known as. It's a self. Uh, so moniker. she made us breakfast sandwiches this morning. So we're going to be going to Mackinac Island today and we started looking and we might be able to see the northern lights. I didn't realize you could see them here and so we're going to try to see those while we're on this trip as well. But it's supposed to be overcast, so we are not so sure how well that will work out. I forgot my extra sweatshirt, so I'm probably going to be buying a sweatshirt. Uh, we are here at Starline's Ferry getting unloaded, and we're going to take a ferry to the island. It's cold, it's windy, it's cold. It's cold. Nice to have a hoodie. It does help a lot. Mm -hmm. No cars beyond this point. Yeah, well, how would you get a car in here anyway? Okay. Neat little gift shop here. Yeah, it's cute. I like it. All right, they're loading up, guys. Okay. Let's right. rock and roll. Rolling Rock. Of course, Jay's still paying, so he's the weak link. I am. Oh. <laughs> I think he did that on purpose. <laughs> yeah. This is so cool. No motorized vehicles are allowed on the island, but you will find horse transportation. We are going on the carriage tours. It's $36 a person. These are a team of Percherons. Now Percherons originated in France, but they were specifically bred big and strong, so they could carry on their backs a fully armed knight, his swords and shields, and still be able to run in the battle. That's what they said, better than Starbucks. We're in a Victorian place, and you picked this, hey, John. <laughs> it's colorful.
Candace, why don't you tell everybody what you got there? These are called whitefish bites. They're very large, and they were caught fresh this morning. They taste amazing. Oh They're good. They're really good. That's a spinach artichoke dip, and then they make these homemade crostini things that looks like parmesan. It's good, isn't it? Robin, who hates fish, what do you think of the fish bites? It was really good. That's saying something. Mm -hmm. Yep. So that's the prime rib? That's the prime rib. Medium rare. Ten ounce? Yep. That was like a lot of meat for ten ounce. And Robin got a chicken sandwich? Yep. Chicken club. And then I got the Diablo shrimp and mussels on linguine. I got, I got something else. And, and Candace also got the salad. I got a summer orchard salad. Is it open? Yeah. Looks like it. I picked this up in Palomas, Mexico, when I was in dimming a few weeks ago, and saved it specifically for this trip. And so we are going to give it a shot. This is mascal, which is uh, something I've never had before. So we'll see what we think of it. It's supposed to have, I guess, a smoky. Smoky? Yeah, smoky. It smells like paint thinner. <laughs> <laughs> paint thinner? <laughs> no. Oh, that's different. It doesn't taste like tequila. I don't think. <laughs> yeah, def it definitely doesn't taste like tequila. You say tequila funny. Tequila. Because <laughs> I'm, it's, yeah. Oh. You don't like it? <laughs> it's not Patron. <laughs> Ooh, sounds gross. I don't know. I'll, make, I'll pour one for Jay. I can't figure out the bottle. I just got stuff to pour out, and now it's not pouring out again. What am I doing wrong? I don't know. What does it taste like? That def definitely alcohol. Yeah, but it don't taste anything like tequila, does it? Tequila? No, it reminds me of whiskey a little bit. Ew, I hate whiskey. I'm sorry. I thought it was going to be something interesting and cool. You don't like it? It's definitely heartburning like tequila is. <clears throat> no, but I... Yeah, if we mix it, maybe I'll have more, but not just straight drink it. No, it's not. It's pretty. It's, it's a little harsh. Yeah. You hate it? No. I think it'll solve the problem of not tasting your alcohol when in your margarita or something. I think you'll taste it. <laughs> I don't think it's yucky. It just it does remind me like a like a bourbon that's aged in a. Uh, a charred barrel. Yeah. I'm not a bourbon drinker, so I'm not by any means an expert on that, but it's just, that's what the, the initial impression is, is a, a whiskey. Well, 
I knew I should. I, I was. <laughs> I, I don't hate it. So they had Patron sitting right here, right next to it. And I thought, <laughs> I'll try something different. Try something new. Be adventurous. I failed. It could be worse. It could be light beer. <laughs> so today at Mackinac Island, we picked up a bunch of different varieties of a bunch of varieties. We picked up a variety of... A, vari a bunch of variety. A bunch of variety. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we picked up some beers. Uh, we're going to try this. This is the Mango IPA. And Jay likes it. Right, That's Jay? Good. Why don't you give your review? It's light on the tongue. It's still an IPA, but it's not overly bitter. And it's slightly fruity. So A plus, B plus, B, uh, B minus. An A minus. A minus. Good. All right. Wow. Good. All right. That's a really good grade. I give a lot of A's. Real quick, I want to talk about the day. You you go for it. So talk about how disappointed you were. It was for me. It was a little disappointing, but it was cold. Don't go this time of year. It was cold. Also, don't listen to him. If you're here and you want to go, you go. Do it. Also, <laughs> I would only give the restaurant, let me, my restaurant review, my, rest, my restaurant review is going to be a bit critical. I got, as you I saw. I bet they're really surprised about that. <laughs> I got the shrimp and mussels. It was fine. <laughs> it, was fine. it wasn't horrible. <laughs> it was just Average. I'll be honest, I actually enjoy the fettuccine seafood dish that they used to have at Olive Garden. They had scallops, shrimps. Shrimps? They had scallops. <laughs> they had scallops, shrimp, and mussels. Better. And it was like $20. This was $40. But I think the biggest disappointment for me was they called it Diablo. And the guy said it was really spicy. It was no spice at all. None. It was, it was a level zero. It was a level zero spice. So it, it didn't really have any kind of flavor that that was special. There was nothing special about it. The food was fresh and well cooked, but very much lacked in flavor. And for $40, I expected more. Otherwise, the fish appetizer, what was the fish called? Just white fish bites. The white fish bites appetizer was really actually very good. Caught this morning. Caught this morning. It no, was very and, good. And none of it had any kind of fishy smell or flavor because it was fresh. So from that aspect, it was all very good. I would put the restaurant as a whole maybe a 5.5 .5 to a 6 out of 10 because it, it just was really expensive <laughs> and wasn't exceptional. However, some of the food that the others got, they really enjoyed. I got a medium rare prime rib, a 10 ounce portion, and I thought it was cooked perfectly. I put salt on my meat as that's the only seasoning that a good piece of beef needs. And a little bit of the horseradish that's traditionally eaten with prime rib, and it was delicious. Potatoes were good. I would give it an eight or a nine. There I you thought it was good. There and I go. thought the price was reasonable for prime rib. Yeah, I got the officer's club and it was okay, but the chicken was really dry. And then they gave me stupid maple bacon on it. Who does that? Maple bacon. So what would you give it? Um, my food itself, I would give it a five. All right. But, however, <laughs> the whitefish... Bites. Bites. I would. Those were not bites. Those were like strips. I know. And there um, was six of them. Yeah, there was a lot there. It was a. Um, I would give that literally like an eight point five, and I don't like fish, and I did like this fish, and the spinach and artichoke um, appetizer was really good too. All right. Any more? Anything else? Um, the place itself wasn't beautiful. So no, I like the. I like the. the atmosphere. You liked the atmosphere? I did. All right. I didn't did. love it. It could have definitely been better. Okay. Candace, can I come in there? Yes. All right. <laughs> All right, Candace. 
What did you think? I liked it because everything that everyone's saying was good was my food. <laughs> <laughs> so I ordered the fish bites and I ordered the spinach artichoke dip and then I got like a summer orchard side salad and I thought it was all very good. All right, so all in all though, you guys enjoyed the day, right? Yeah. Do the um, horse carriage uh, tour. Yeah, the tour. The tour it's very funny. Um, informative. And funny. Mm -hmm. And funny. If you and get I, I, we right overheard person. one or two of the other ones, and they were also funny. Were they? Yeah. Okay. All right. Entertaining and educational. shop here yeah it's cute i like it all right they're loading up guys okay let's right. rock and roll rolling rock of course jay's still paying so he's the weak link i am 